With your first news at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. With guys like Phil Hansen, Tyrone Braxton, and Stacy Robinson, North Dakota State has been sending football players to the NFL for a long time. But since the Bison went to the FCS, pro scouts on campus are a normal part of the program. So is the annual Pro Day, where athletes work out in an NFL combine style of setting for uh, NFL teams. Trinity's Jake Kubis was among the athletes participating. If you would have asked me what if I was going to be given given a chance at the NFL, if you would asked me if I was playing at North Dakota State, probably my junior high school, I would have told you you're crazy. Um, but I was given the opportunity to come here as a walk on and just took advantage of it. Just trusted the process, did what everybody told me to do, tried to do everything the right way, the best best I knew how, and you know just attacked it every single day. And you know I think if you just put your head down for a, a, any kids out there, you just put your head down, chase your dreams outwork everybody, show up on time, do everything right, uh, you're going to accomplish what you want to accomplish. And Jake measured a little over 6'4", 308 pounds, and he did 28 reps on the bench press. Kubis was first team All-State in his final year at Trinity and first team All-Conference in his final year with the Bison. Garrett Hill is a Bison baseball player from Williston. He also spent time with the Larks last summer. When Garrett was home recently, John Cole asked him about Bismarck's Cade Feeney. They were teammates at NDSU, but now Feeney has started his professional baseball career in the Red Sox organization. Uh, he enjoys it. Um, yeah, I spent spent this last summer in rookie ball down in uh, Florida. So, but we got a chance to hang out with him over the fall. He came back and trained with us for a month. So, he's he's enjoying it. He's I mean he's 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 a good dude. It's I'm really glad that it happened to him because there's a lot of guys are you know get to their head, but he's just he's a humble kid. He stays he stays within himself. Doesn't showboat or nothing. He's just a good player. And I hope he hope he makes it far so I can get free tickets to Boston games. Uh, Feeney is a right-handed pitcher who was taken by Boston in the 13th round of the draft. Well, with six games to go in the regular season, the Bobcats are seven points behind Minot for first place in the Central Division. Clayton Knapp and Stephen Peck have more or less split the games in goal this season. Knapp is heading to Duluth next year, and he will go into the sports spotlight tomorrow. Peck says clinching a place in the playoffs is goal accomplished, but they want more. It was a good feeling. You know, we had to... I mean, we knew what was at stake, and we just had to go in there and get it done. And, you know, it wasn't the prettiest game, but I guess for this team, like, I don't know when the last time we made playoffs was, but I think it's been a couple years, and um, it was a good feeling for this group. We know what we have in this locker room, and um, we're just trying to get it done. And we got it done last weekend, and, you know, we're going to keep going here and try to win the division. Ben Dacchio will put Nap in the spotlight on Wednesday. The Cats host Aberdeen on Friday and Saturday. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back after this.